Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Power Talk for this afternoon. I want to introduce to you maybe how the industry can go where we are now and work towards our common uh, climate goals. So for as long as I can remember, the world has been grappling with the issue of climate change. And we are challenged now not only to consider um, the CO2 impact, but also where our energy actually comes from and then how we use it. Globally, we're challenged to achieve net zero targets by 2040, but how do we actually action this as an industry and move forward towards those goals? At Danfoss, we believe the greenest energy is the energy that we do not use. So from an efficiency point of view, how do we actually action that and do more with less? Globally, the construction industry releases about 400 megatons of CO2 from vehicles every year. Digging into that a bit more, you find that roughly half of that comes from excavators annually. And if you dig in a bit more again, it's the sizes uh, larger than 10 tons, which are uh, responsible for the majority of that CO2 output. So somehow as an industry, we need to take responsibility uh, for this carbon and, uh, and start down the path of decarbonization. So going a bit more uh, into excavators, we discovered that there is a huge opportunity within them to do a lot more with less. To give you some calibration, on most excavators, roughly 70% of the energy that's actually put out by the prime mover gets wasted as heat within the hydraulic system. But, and, and if you basically look at that at the moment, even at kind of normal fuel prices, you'd find that over 50 billion uh, dollars is wasted in diesel fuel alone being put into heat within the hydraulic system. However, hydraulics are very good at what they do. They're compact, they're robust, they're highly controllable in the right hands to get productive work done. And in today's world, I think we have to acknowledge that most excavators are actually diesel powered. We have um, a, a growth in electrified machines at smaller sizes, but really in the production classes, we're still seeing diesel machines for the, for the foreseeable future. So on the Bioma today, we're launching for the first time a new brand, uh, Dextream, developed by Danfoss, targeted specifically at excavators and designed to take excavators from where we are now into the future. Dextream is a unique hydraulic system based around the capabilities of the digital displacement pump, but it goes beyond just a more efficient pump at the heart of it. It's designed to optimize energy efficiency of the complete excavator hydraulic system and take excavators uh, from now into the future. And if you want to think about Dextream as being an umbrella wrapper, basically around a core, very efficient pump, some system level valves, and then so a software wrapper around the whole thing. That's basically what Dextreme is trying to cover. And we're targeting excavators uh, really in the 20 ton and up class, so the productive classes. At the heart of it is a digital displacement pump. And on the Bioma today, we also have the result of three years of investment into digital displacement. So we have our uh, DDP 180 here, and that's what forms the basis of our uh, Dextreme focus going forwards. And if you want to understand why this pump is more than just an efficient pump, the way that it's controlled is each valve within the pump is uniquely controllable. And you can think of it as being multiple small pumps within a larger pump body. So within the pump that we have on the show today, you could think of that as being 10 small pumps within that pump body. And then it's how the system combines those together that gives us the benefits of Dextreme. And really, the product is totally software controlled. Uh, every feature that you can think of, every parameter is defined within the software. And that's one of the tools that we give you as excavator OEMs, is control of that software so that you define how the system behaves. Also, because it's software controlled, you could have common system architectures and then use the software to define the functionality for given markets or maybe by different prime movers. So today, we can work with existing excavators, generally diesel powered, and we would see 15% uh, fuel savings as being easily achievable within the, uh, with the uh, hardware that we have just now. And for that 15% saving, there's no compromise. You would also expect to get 
something like 28% more work out of the diesel engine by working more optimally with that engine, uh, preventing stall and working down at maybe lower uh, engine speeds so you can work more quietly but more effectively. Your customers will also feel more powerful. The digital displacement technology, by its digital nature, is very fast to respond. Operators generally feel more powerful and that they have more control of the machine. But really, 15% saving is just the start. And quite commonly, we talk about 30% fuel saving being obtained from the next step in the journey. With the Dixtream Flex system, we have several uh, demonstrators running in both customers and at our application development centers showing 30% fuel saving uh, in, in uh, many duty cycles. So in addition to optimizing the productivity, this system then starts tackling the losses at a system level by using the combination of those small pumps within the big pump body to, uh, to, to reduce the system level losses, scaling the output to the, the different services. And really, the ultimate goal in this system is to be the most effective way to connect the prime mover to the uh, main control valve in the system. And the prime mover can be any energy source. Just now, we would say start with diesel. But if you choose uh, some other synthetic fuel, hydrogen burning, or electric motors, we are the most effective way to connect that prime mover to your, uh, your end consumers. But looking a bit further into the future, we have the pathway to make even greater savings. And really, the, the end point that we can see is savings in the above 50% range. So at this point, we start to take the technology built on this pump platform here, and we start to introduce the capability to do uh, regeneration and take energy back through uh, the Dextream system and either return it back to the prime mover or enable something like hydraulic transforming where you can send it out to other consumers at that time. So to be clear, this system is under development, uh, but it's the, it's the logical uh, end point of the Dextreme technology. So with Dextreme, we're really trying to solve three key challenge areas within the industry from an efficiency point of view, from productivity, and also the general trend towards digitalization, and whether that's autonomy as well. That's the, 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 we're also an enabler for an auto autonomous future. So really, the message is you can optimize your diesel-powered machines today and work towards whatever electrified or zero-carbon solution you see in the future. Um, and if you take away just one thing from this talk today, by partnering with Danfoss, this is just the, the, the basically the best thing you can do for any excavator system, uh, taking your products towards uh, a low carbon future. Thank you for your time and attention. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them offline. Thank you.